Hi all, this is a video giving some examples uh, of linear functions, particular finding equations and graphing linear functions when your information is given in function notation. So again, I am running on a little bit of an assumption that you are familiar and comfortable with finding equations for lines and graphing lines. And what's supposed to be new here is just having the information that you need given to you in a little bit different notation. So I have oh, a handful, what, I think five examples here that I'll work through. So this might be a little bit of a longer one, but hopefully we'll get going and it won't take us too long. Okay, so first one, we're told that P of X is a linear function and we're given two pieces of information. One, P of zero is seven. Two, P of three is five. So if you will remember to find an equation for a line, there are certain uh, combinations of information that will work for us. So one option is two points. If we're given two points, we can find the equation for a line. The other information would be a uh, point and the slope, and it can be any point. It's fabulous if we're given the y-intercept and the slope because then slope-intercept form gives us the equation without having to do any extra calculations. But actually any point on the line and the slope of the line uniquely determine a linear equation. So we, our first job is to look at the information we're given and decide what it is. Are we being given two points? Are we being given slope information? What is it? In this case, P of zero equals seven and P of three equals five uh, is all point information. So when I look at this, if you'd like to rewrite it, this is saying that P goes through the point zero seven and P goes through the point three five. Again, the beauty of function notation is it not only tells you the order pair but also which function pairs the two but you can always translate back into a point if it's helpful okay so given two points we actually have to know the slope of a line in order to get its equation if we're using our um, slope intercept form or point slope form but given two points we can calculate the slope so let's start with that the slope of a line is change in y over change in x. So I'm going to do 7 minus 5 over 0 minus 3. Again, what's really key is that as soon as you choose 7 to be the first y value on the top, you have to use the corresponding x value first on the bottom. So it looks like we are getting a negative 2 thirds for our slope. So we can actually start to write the equation for P of X. We'll put it over here. If we're using slope intercept form, uh, P of X equals MX plus B. We now know that the M is two thirds. Don't forget the X, it's important. You've got the variable in there. And then we're actually really lucky in this one. We're given the y-coordinate of the y-intercept. We were given the y-intercept, in fact, at 0, 7. So we know without doing any extra work, since p of 0 is 7, this should be negative 2 thirds x plus 7. 